It has been 40 years since the bodies of two young women were found brutally slain just months apart in Ventura County. Over the years, their cases went cold, but the determination to catch their killer never wavered. And tonight, investigators say a killer who has been hiding in plain sight for decades is behind bars facing two counts of murder. KTLA's Rachel Manitoff is live with more on the young women and how investigators in Ventura County and across the country are using genetic genealogy to help crack cold cases. Rachel. Micah and Cher, good evening. The district attorney said today that justice is finally coming for two families who have been living all this time without any answers. He, al he also said that this case shows that murder charges can be brought at any time. And it's largely thanks, like you said, to this new DNA technology. The Ventura County Sheriff, together with the district attorney and the Oxnard police chief, made a major announcement. Today we're here to talk about the arrest of Tony Garcia, who's been arrested for two counts of murder. They've arrested and charged 68-year-old Oxnard resident Tony Garcia with the 1981 murders of two young women, Rachel Zendayas and Lisa Gondek. Garcia was in the Navy and then worked as a karate instructor. The fact is, this suspect has been hiding in plain sight for over 40 years. Rachel Zendayas was a single mother of two daughters. According to police, on January 17, 1981, after a night out, she drove her babysitters home and is believed to have been attacked on her way back. Two newspaper delivery boys discovered her body inside a carport on Mobile Avenue across the street from her family's Camarillo apartment. Several months later, Lisa Gondak was also out with friends in nearby Oxnard. At the end of the night, she was dropped off at her Gonzales Road apartment. Soon after, her neighbors reported seeing a fire coming from her building. Inside, firefighters found Lisa's remains in the bathtub. According to their autopsies, both women died from strangulation and both cases went cold for over 40 years until law enforcement was able to link Tony Garcia using new DNA analysis. The long arm of the law has brought justice to the Gondak and Zendaya's families. Garcia is charged with two counts of first degree murder. He appeared virtually in court Thursday and is currently in jail without bond. His attorney spoke briefly after the arraignment. The allegations that are made here um, are horrific and we do understand that. Um, so our sympathies to the family, to the parents and siblings and to the community. Garcia will be back inside a courtroom in two weeks, and the sheriff says this is an ongoing investigation. They still want to talk to possible witnesses, victims, and anyone who knows anything else about Tony Garcia. That's the very latest from Ventura County. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Sharon Micah, back to you. Rachel, thank you.